Okay. <laughs> nah, I never did. <laughs> Looks like a what? I like my sixes. Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's go through some number systems with you. Okay. Let's go through some numbers. Um, if you guys remember, let's do um, four divided by two. All right. These are two integers. And if, can I evenly divide 4 divided into 2? OK, good. That equals 2, right? Now let's look at some square numbers. What about if I took the square root of 4? Can I take the square root of 4? Is that, a real, is that a, um, an integer? Yes, that's 2. Does anybody know what we call the square root of 2? Do, can we take the square root of 2? Is that going to provide us with an integer? No. What does the square root of 2 provide us with? Does anybody know the name of that number? It's going to give us a decimal value. We know that. But does anybody know? It's not a complex number. It's not an imaginary number. It's what we call an irrational number, right? So what we said was when you guys were looking at, when we talked about irrational numbers, we said you can divide, you can divide you know, integers by integers, right? Because this is going to, or real numbers by your real, or um, your rash, sorry, rational numbers divided by other rational numbers. However, when we came to the point of saying, take a rational number and divide it by an irrational number, we said we couldn't do it because remember, irrational numbers go on and on forever. So if you're going to divide by an irrational number, you're approximating. So does anybody remember what we did to get rid of, an irrational, to get rid of the square root? What do you multiply that? What do you do? Square it. You, you square it, or rather than just saying square it, I'm going to say multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom. And the reason why you do that is because, think about it this way. If I did 2 over 4 times 2 over 2, I get, I get 4 over 8. Is 4 over 8 the exact thing as 2 over 4? Yeah. So as long as you multiply by the same number on the top and bottom, what happens? You get 4 times radical 2, and then you're dividing by square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is the square root of 2 squared, which those um, go back to your radicand, which will be 2. All right? Then you can obviously simplify this answer All right, over 1. But the main important thing I want you guys to understand throughout this whole big talk I've had is you cannot divide by irrational numbers. All right? Well, you can, but you're going to approximate their answer. So rather than getting an approximate answer, what we did is we rationalized the denominator to get our irrational number off of our denominator. Well, guess what? Imaginary numbers equal what? Right? What does your i represent? Square root of negative 1. Now, this isn't irrational. This is imaginary. However, we're going to use the same technique. If I represented this as the square root of negative 1, by using this technique, what would you do? You'd multiply by the square root of negative 1. But however, we don't, have, we don't need to write that as the square root of negative 1. We can just leave it as i. However, the operation we're going to want to use is multiplying by i over i. Now, why does that work? Well, let's take a look at it. When I multiply by i on top, I get 6i plus 8i squared over 9i squared. So you could say, Mr. McLogan, we still have i in the denominator, right? Right? Right now, I still have i in the denominator. However, if you guys remember talking about, i represented square root of negative 1. When we kept on going through the system, we said i squared equals negative 1. So that means I can now replace negative 1 for all my i squareds. So I have 6i plus 8 times negative 1 divided by 9 times negative 1. Now, lastly, the same thing is I also want to make sure that I always write it A and B I form. So therefore, I'm going to write my, this number in front. So I'm going to have negative 8 um, plus 6i divided by negative 9. Then I'm going to simplify this fraction to 8 ninths uh, minus the, let's see, 2 thirds i. Because I divide the 9 into my front and my last term. All right, so therefore, it's A plus B I. There you go. Don't walk in front of the camera. Perfect timing.